Oh, again, took that on the rise and okay. hit it early. The second double fault of the match hands the first set to Paolo Bedosa after a shaky start. Oh, beautiful inside out. No idea why she wasn't covering the down the line there, but... Uh... Yeah, it's the first time uh, in the event's history it's been played over two weeks. Very well played. Both players, lovely rally, and Cochiretto kept a cool there. Ginter still is happy. Fuego. Oh, and there is the break with a stunning return from Cochiretto. She needs to be going for broke. It's high risk, high reward, but that's really her only option at the moment. Oh, the serve's too good, but also heads to the chairs. Cochiretta levels the match. We are heading for a third set. When she won recently in Mexico, she won from behind in the semi and the final. Oh, that's wonderful. Wrong footed, but also approaching the net. And that's too good. a really good hit wasn't more than what three meters away from her opponent but Cochiretta was never getting that one conditions make the balls bounce even higher Oh, where did she get that from? Dug deep in the locker and found a gem of a shot. That was all hands, wasn't it? She was so out of position. And you can see here, not able to move as well as she, and athletically as she'd like to. But such a gifted player is. Centre Court Stadium, Manolo Santana. Makes it. <laughs> the crowd thought she'd wanted a shot early again. <laughs> Saves her best to last and looks to the heavens. Paola Bedosa survives an almighty scare and a calf injury too, it seems, to win in three, six, four in a gripping encounter that lasts exactly two and a half hours against Elisabetta Cocciaretto, who gave it everything, but Paola prevailed. What a fight from Paola Bedosa. <laughs> and you can see just how much this, uh, this win, rather, meant to her.